So this is the uncellophaning of the Ranyak Pet Snuffle Mat for Dogs. And this is what it looks like. The theory behind the snuffle mat is that it's designed for dogs who overeat their food. In this video, we have two products to help slow down these super gobblers and improve their digestion and help them enjoy the food longer. That's Como. He's our 16 year old senior rescue puggle. Uh, his name means I eat in Italian. So he's very excited to, to get these bites. Let's tuck some food into some bites into these ruffles and tell this guy he can go ahead and eat. Come on, buddy. There you go. There you go. Okay, so um, he just place the, the kibble bites and he can play hide and go seek now. If you use the snuffle mat regularly, instructions recommend washing it every week since the grease from the food will absorb into the fabric. The mat, um, the mat is made of pretty durable fabric. There are suction cups on it. And, um, come here, buddy. Come here. Look, look here. Look here. Uh-oh, he's frustrated. He's just going to eat it. Just going to eat it. Let's try again. I don't know what the IQ is for this or if he's the best hunting dog in the world, but we're going to see. <laughs> There's one here, buddy. There's one here. Look here. Can you see it? So the ruffle parts are made of a felt fabric. The mat itself is quite durable and somewhat waterproof. I hope the ruffles would be too, but, but they are not water or grease resistant. But that's okay. It's just a more of a toy to keep him busy. This, this guy's not a serious bruiser. If your dog is serious about destroying things, this probably wouldn't be the mat for you. The toy seems entertaining enough. I kind of just wanted him to feel safe with us and, and slow down. See that you can see me feeling that mat there and that's the waterproof part. And these are the felt ruffles. So it's good. And um, normally when he eats, it's over in 30 seconds. So mostly I was just trying to extend the joy for him and give him some mental exercise. If you were on a bare floor too, you'll be able to find the, mat the bites much more easily when they fall out on tile than, or a hard floor than you can here in the grass. And there are suction cups on it, but the suction cups didn't work. Maybe if you wet them on bare floor, but I found them the plastic too hard and and tough to to use. But overall, I think it's good for him. I think he's gonna like it and have some fun playing with it. I'm not sure we'll use it every day, but um, when we wanna play with him, we can do it. Okay, he's a good boy, he's a good boy. Now the next product up for, up for display is the Caspa Slow Feeder. It's an eco-friendly dog bowl. Both these products I found on Amazon. I've been pleased with this feeder because this old doggy, I mean, it's just really gonna help him a lot. It's, wasn't sure how big it was on Amazon, but as you can see, um, it's pretty sizable and um, those ridges help and it's pretty durable. You can hear me knock on it there and it's, um, it's good. So, seems very sturdy. He's a senior dog though, and it takes him longer to eat. And I thought that would maybe help him live longer. <laughs> so now the dividers that you see here are just gonna help him not get his muzzle inside the bowl so easily, so he just can't eat it all at one time. He's gotta dig for it. And this guy's about 30 pounds for reference. And a puggle is a beagle and pug mix, in case you don't know, I didn't know for sure. Let's just let him go ahead and eat here. This breed seems to be very good. He's very mild-mannered, really good with children, really good with people. Only thing is he gets a little cranky over his raw head bones, but look look at this boy get started eating here. He's an extremely enthusiastic eater. I thought maybe between these two products we could uh, slow his eating, keep his brain active and all that, and he does does seem to be a good mental challenge for him. I'm liking it. I will say that we've just been kind of watching his personality since he's new to us to try to figure out what he likes and what his habits are. And um, if you're having a struggle with getting your dog to slow down, this 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 bowl is really good. If you had a Great Dane or something, um, it might be able to destroy it, but this dog will make no dent in it at all. It's super for him. 
This is Como eating his food in this wonderful Casbah slow feeder dog bowl. I hope you like the video and I hope it helps you. And hey, if you have any tips about how you got your dog to slow down or how you, you know, eat more slowly and uh, make it more of a game, just please comment in the section below so it helps other pet people. I will say this, that he's about, he should be 27 pounds, but we fed him so well now that he's about 35. <laughs> Oops, so he is on a diet, but um, his little paw, even that dainty paw, will just pull the bowl all the way across the floor. So you may want to go ahead and put a mat on it, under it, to keep it in one place. But um, this is Como eating as slowly as you'll ever see it. So <laughs> thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to our channel eclectic ideas and uh, yeah just let us know down below what you've done to help your dog eat more slowly and good luck with your pet and happy happy eating he's a good boy he really is a good boy there he goes he's a good boy he's a good boy yeah he's a good doggy okay and if you notice that gray collar around his neck the thin one it's actually a calming collar that I also found on, on Amazon and it, it does seem to work. I only used it the first like two weeks he was with us, but it does seem to work. So I don't actually remember the brand, but if you look up calling collar, calming collars, I got a calming collar and a spray. But this is about the pet feeder. I just thought I'd throw that in there extra. Pet feeder works great. The Casbah Slow Feeder Echo Friendly Dog Bowl and the Ranyak Pet Snuffle Mat for Dogs. Thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.